Big Frog 104, hey, it's Kari here hanging out on Boilermaker Sunday, and we're about to make your Sunday a lot better because we have a very special guest in the studio with us today. His name is Austin Jenks. He's a singer-songwriter out of Duval, Washington, actually kind of my neck of the woods. How's it going, Austin? Doing good. How are you doing? Good. So we're really excited to have you in here. I know it's kind of dead around the office, but we're having a good time. <laughs> no, it's awesome. We're rocking it. Yeah, and you said you just flew into Rochester um, this afternoon. and. Yep. Oh, man, I'm cutting out a little bit. Um, <laughs> so you flew into Rochester and you made your way over here. You're playing with Brothers Osborne tonight um, at Turning Stone. So yeah. that's really exciting. Yeah. I know, I know you've had kind of a busy week, though. You flew to Chicago and you played Grand Ole Opry in Nashville last night. I know it's been kind of crazy, but you were up here in upstate New York a little bit earlier in the week, right? Yeah, we played out by Ithaca and then we played at Jam in the Valley, which is out near Buffalo's in Verysburg. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, I flew to Chicago Friday and played the Opry last night. Oh, and my gosh. So it's about a week-long trip. We left, uh, I guess, Tuesday last week or this week. I don't know. It's Sunday. So how do you say that? <laughs> last week. I have no uh, idea. <laughs> but, when does the week start? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we'll get to, we'll get back to Nashville late tomorrow night. Okay. Gotcha. And, I mean, I a lot of, a lot of the listeners know that I'm new to the area. Did you get a chance to go and experience a little bit of upstate New York while you were here? Yeah, I mean, just driving through it is so beautiful. And like mm -hmm. we were talking about, you know, it actually reminds me a lot of the Northwest, just the mm -hmm. rivers and the trees and stuff. And, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I love it up here. And I like it a lot better than the city because it just reminds me of home. Yeah. Um, and I may or may not have three unpaid tolls. <laughs> So uh -oh. I, gotta, I gotta figure that out because I'm not used to tolls. You yeah, know, so I know. I, I gotta log on to the thing and, and pay those. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a change. I'm like, uh, how do I do this? Yeah. <laughs> so um, I just moved here from Snohomish. We were just talking about this. And for Central New York listeners, you may not know this, but um, Duval, where Austin's from, and Snohomish, where I'm from, is like what 20, 30 minutes away from each not other. Even. So yeah, it's yeah, close. It's so close. So it's cool that Austin's in here. Um, I know you moved to Nashville quite quite some years ago, um, yeah. but is there is there stuff that you miss, you know, about Duval or the Pacific Northwest? Yeah, I mean, the you know, the mountains and then the water a mm -hmm. lot. You know, it's just, I still, when I'm driving, I, I think that I'm going to come up on like a big, like the ocean or something, and it's just not there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, I mean, I love Nashville. Nashville is like the place to be as far as music's concerned. There's a lot of like-minded people and you know songwriters trying to make it and um but it's a it's a bittersweet thing for sure i think i thought by now i might have moved back and mm -hmm. but my wife actually wants to stay in nashville so. <laughs> nice yeah. okay so going back to your schedule so you played chicago on friday and then grand Ole opry last night in nashville yep. um so your opry debut was last month actually yeah right? that's amazing yeah, so, yeah. Um, so how the heck did it feel standing in that circle on such like a legendary stage? I mean, I was totally freaked out. I mean, my mom flew in from Washington mm -hmm. and, you know, I had a lot of friends and family there and just kind of hanging out that day. I was trying to figure out what I was going to wear. I put like four <laughs> different pairs of pants on. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but I just kind of was trying to keep it, you know, locked up i was just trying to be chill and yeah. and get ready and and then once i got on the stage you know after about the first or second verse i was kind of feeling good yeah um but you know vince gill was the one that wow. introduced me and i've always been a really big fan of his and yeah his voice and stuff so that that even like turned it up a notch and uh but last night it was you know the second time and I was probably 50% less stressed out just because I... <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew the program, you know, and I uh, felt a little bit more comfortable and confident. But, uh, but yeah, it was crazy. Last night, I got another standing ovation, oh, my which goodness. is insane. And, wow. <laughs> um, you know, being on that stage, just looking at the pictures on the walls and, um, you know, you start to think about all the amazing artists that have played there. Mm -hmm. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I can only imagine what it's like from an artist standpoint. Like, I was there in February, and just as someone who loves country music, and I've never yeah. been to Nashville before, just seeing it yeah. go on, that was absolutely amazing. So I can't even imagine what it was like from your perspective. It's like, like Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> Disneyland for country artists. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, cool. Um, We would love to hear you perform a song if you... 
I would, would love so to. Cool. Awesome. I'll play a song uh, called American Nights that I wrote, and it uh, was recorded by Morgan Wallen first, and then Lee Bryce recorded it, put it on his last record, and Lee actually played it uh, for the 4th of July party at the White House. Oh, my gosh. A couple weeks ago. Wow. So there's some really cool video of that on, like, PBS. Holy cow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's neat. Blue ribbon bottles, big block throttles, my bros if you want them, go on and take a drag. Little taste of freedom, little small town dreaming, no need to preach, no need to shout, we believe in American nights, one headlight, cutting down Main Street in the dark, muscle show. Muscle cars earning our stripes underneath these stars. Faded Levi's, worn out chucks, 20 in my pocket, feels like a million bucks. Blue out beauty. Leaning to me, our own show in the back row, miss a whole damn movie. American nights, one headlight, cutting down Main Street in the dark. Muscle shows and muscle cars, earning our stripes underneath these stars. American nights, American nights. Pray the morning don't come, these colors don't run. Stay up and stay young. American nights, American nights, one hand light. Cutting down Main Street in the dark Muscle shows and muscle cars Earning our stripes underneath these stars American eyes American Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Austin. So that one is off the new album. Yep. If you grew up like I did. And I have to say, okay, this is gonna be so cheese y but I'm gonna I'm just gonna fangirl out for a second. Um so I don't take this lightly, but that your new album is my favorite album of all time. No way. Yes, yes way. That's crazy. <laughs> um yeah, it's that crazy. So I keep thinking, like, when, when it first came out, I had a couple favorite songs. And the more I listened to it, I was like, okay, that one's my favorite. No, that one's my favorite. And literally every song is, like, my favorite song. Hey. So I just had to tell you that because it's absolutely amazing. That means the world <laughs> to me. Thank you so much. Yeah. I just think, like, it's so raw, it's so real, and it's it's something that everyone needs to go listen to. Um, so if you grew up like I did, um, do you think... That was kind of your your step into country music and being like, like this is who I am and like these are these are my songs, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I took about five years just to write and record that album, and wow. uh, now that it's out, you know, it came out May thirty first, and uh, it's been a long time coming. You know, we started recording it maybe two years ago, and uh, growing up in the Northwest, I've played all different kinds of music for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but I just wanted to put something out that kind of told my story. You know, it seems to be the the cool thing to do these days is to, to kind of tell your story in mm -hmm. different ways, you know, whether that's through social media or through a book or a painting or whatever, you know. And, and for me, uh, I've just always wanted to make music that made people feel something. And, and the only way that I really know how to do that is just to kind of write songs that 
that make me feel something and hope that mm-hmm. it does the same for other people. So. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I say I, I don't really have a favorite because they're all my favorites. But do you have a favorite on the new album? Um, I have a couple favorites, and they're they're kind of for different reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, right away is one of my favorites. That's the last song on the record, mm-hmm. and it's just because of musically how it kind of came about. It was okay. it was uh, started at my house, and we recorded the guitar and the vocal just at my house, and then we ended up going and tracking like bass and drums in the studio. But it just feels like pretty raw. It does, yeah. Um, and so I like that a lot. And then If You'd Been Around is probably the f- my favorite song that I've ever been a part of writing. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. 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 Some great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, so do you want to play another one for us? Yeah. For okay. Sure. Awesome. Right. I'm going to go Facebook Live on this one. Okay. Um, so I'm going to pull that up really quick. If you can go check us out on Facebook and you can watch Austin play this next one. I honestly have no idea which one he's going to play. So <laughs> we, it'll be a surprise. All right. Here goes nothing. I got your name. I got your eyes, I got some house, I got some wise to this day. I hate goodbyes. Mama had to be both soft and tough. I tried her patience and I pressed my luck. She hugged my neck, busted my butt to settle me down. If you'd been around, maybe I wouldn't have grown up so fast. Wrecked my first car, river smoked grass. Maybe I'd have lots of memories of you, not just pictures of someone I barely knew. Oh, just so you know, I'm doing okay. The road ain't been easy, but I found my way. Sometimes I think I might have turned out more like the man I've heard stories about. If you'd been around. Well, I learned how to punch from losing some fight. Value of truth, owning up to some lies. Now I realize all of the time I was more lost than found. If you'd been around, maybe I wouldn't have raised so much hell. Spend more than I made or not in jail. Maybe I'd have lots of memories of you, not just pictures of someone I barely knew. Oh, just so you know, I'm doing all right. Got a woman that loves me, I made a good life. But sometimes I think I might have turned out to be better than the man I am now. If you'd been around If you'd been around Oh, maybe, just maybe We could be friends We drank a beer And fish now and then These are the things That I think about I can almost imagine how it would have played out if you'd been around. If you'd been around. Awesome. Thank you so much, Austin. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, 
we had some comments on on the Facebook Live. People saying, "Oh my God, is he playing for Brothers Osborne tonight?" <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> so we got some people very excited to see you tonight, and we had some people that saw you already earlier this week at Jam in the Valley. So oh, cool. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming in today. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, thank you for having me. This yeah. Has been really, really fun. And- <laughs> Glad to meet another fellow Northwesterner. Yes, uh, a Snohomie, but also, I don't know, <laughs> do you guys have a name? Duval or? Duvalian. Duvalian. <laughs> awesome. Well, it's good to see you. Um, anytime you're in, feel free to stop by. We'd love to have you. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> have awesome. a good one. Yeah, you too.